Morning from my owner. Day, well, two, I suppose. Day one, it's a full day at sea. First full day on board. Um, it is Sunday, the 14th of November. Uh, we didn't set an alarm. We just slept, <laughs> slept. And um, set an alarm actually for 9.30 in case we overslept. But we didn't. We woke up about quarter past eight. Uh, the weather looks all right out there. Try not to get my snow cruise control in. Uh, yeah, looks okay. Feel the occasional move of the ship. Surprisingly, as we're on a ship, it moves. Um, yeah, we're going to be half head off for... Actually, it's Remembrance Sunday today. Um, so we'll go and watch Captain Wes do a Remembrance Sunday service um, this morning. And then there's a lecture by a police detective that looks interesting. So we'll go and see him. It's all in the clubhouse. So we don't have to move. <laughs> um, but first, we're going to get some food, some breakfast. We're going to head to the Keys. I like the Keys in August. Very low-key. Um, easy breakfast. I'm hoping that it'll be quiet on this cruise. We'll see. Um, oh, my phone's shaking. Uh, yeah, so I'll take you along with me today. Day two on Iron. Just about to go outside and we've had post. Um, so you have a like, little cubby hole outside your door, which your cruise like post comes to. That's why my mask is on. Um, and we have had our Baltic and Ligurian lunch. RSVP um, invites come. So, can you see there? So Baltic and Ligurian are the, the top like loyalty tiers. Um, and they hold a, usually it's a senior officer's hosted lunch on board. Um, on a sea day, generally. Um, you have them in the Caribbean tier as well, and you have them with junior officers then. Uh, so we have ticked that, yes, we are looking forward to attending this Peninsula Club event. And we would like to request a table for two limited tables available. So we'll see. Um, it says, unfortunately, that due to health, current health protocols, officers will be unable to join you for lunch on this occasion. We're sorry for the disappointment. But, like, it doesn't matter, does it? You know, it's nice to see them. Um, but if it's safer for them not to see us potentially infected people minions of the boat of the ship rather <laughs> then fair enough uh, i'd rather keep everyone safe and we sail where we want to sail um so yes we need to go and hand those to a a member of the loyalty and crew sales team on deck seven but first breakfast mm, today's breakfast so i feel a bit <laughs> Very, very barrel of Iona. See the bridge up there. It's a little bit misty. Not too windy, it's gonna be a little windy. My Iona doesn't have a seawalk as such, but this is a mini one without any mirrors in the bottom, oh, mirrors, glass in the bottom. If you're scared, you can walk along on a pond deck. And the creation below. The reflection looks amazing. Watch that further, it's mesmerising. We're in the clubhouse for a talk by well, the time. Good Peace morning, man. ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the clubhouse. Good morning, everybody! Okay, can I just say uh, what a fantastic turnout today for the He's first of outside, our though. talks with our guest speaker. And just a reminder, of course, that all... So the guest speaker was a gentleman called Terry Brown. And as you can see at the top, he's a former detective chief inspector. And he was fascinating. He was such a good... Um, I don't know, speaker. Like, he definitely was able to capture an audience. And he had everyone, like, attention for 45 minutes or so. And I heard someone next to me, a lady, mentioning that not one person walked out of that talk. People were just mesmerised, but in a good way. He was funny as well, which made the talk really interesting, as well as being a very interesting subject anyway. So he's doing five more talks aboard, so really looking forward to seeing all of them. I've realised as the cruise has gone on, 
And after talking to my mother, I've seen this gentleman before. He did like a murder mystery kind of talk. Oh, God, about 10 years ago, um, which was brilliant. And then he did all the talks on um, a cruise to America and Canada that my parents did. Um, I think it was on Arcadia that we've seen him. But uh, he is brilliant. If you're on a cruise with him, go and see him. A lot of what he does is actually what I do for work, like the interviewing techniques and stuff. So it's really interesting to see that the police use the same things that I use, but it's a very different way. Um, yeah, fascinating stuff. Go watch. He usually overruns by about half an hour, so don't have anything booked straight after him. <laughs> After a nice relaxing morning, we then decided that we would do some lunch. <laughs> so off we went to the Olive Grove. Now, I had booked the Olive Grove yesterday when we came on board on the My Holiday app. Uh, you can book on the My Holiday app, uh, and I would suggest you do because the Olive Grove is very popular. And the further the cruise goes on, the more popular it's going to get because people will talk and say how wonderful it is. Um, so make sure you book. We booked another day. <coughs> later in the cruise um you can go in the evenings as well for dinner um and yeah make sure you book so you're not disappointed because there was lots of people being turned away at lunchtime because they were fully booked and of course if you look through the window you'll see lots of empty seats but they can only take the covers you know they can only have the people for the covers that they have so make sure you book early as soon as you get on the ship on the my holiday app or um go there and book or ring the booking line our Greek cafe board delicious. I had it in August and the man lied and said it was for one. <laughs> it wasn't, it was for two. But anyway, on my It was a lemon drizzle um, spritz. It's delicious. <coughs> it's got like crushed ice. So it has crushed ice, it has lemon, um, lemon drizzle sip smith gin, it has Tajinger, um champagne, has bitters and sherbet, lemon sherbet. It's just really nice. It's refreshing. It's nice and tart. And I think you should try one. <laughs> so we're in the Olive Grove having lunch. You can see it's a nice table sat by us. Um, I can't. Every time I put my camera up and video me, I feel for whoever's in front of it thinking I'm videoing them, which I'm not, so I haven't filmed that much in here. Um, we've had delicious food. And I just had a lady sat by me who's lovely and recognised me on my YouTube um, vlog expresser. We've had a lovely chat and I hope they have a lovely cruise. I'm sure sods of all we won't bump into them ever again. Um, very nice lady. Uh, and her, her husband there, or partner, gentleman with her. <laughs> we'll make assumptions. Um, but very nice talking about cruising with them um, and we just had pizzas in the olive grove and I'm absolutely full but Dave I think is planning on having a sweet I don't think I have space for a sweet <laughs> so I didn't I think I've taken pictures of the food which I'll put up alongside this video but we had the Greek meze grazing suitable for two to share for starting and then what did we have then? Then we had pizza. Here. So Dave had a carne, which is basically like a meat beast of pizza. And I had the fungi cheese and rocket and pesto, which were both were delicious. And look, you can have gluten free options as well. Now we're having sweets. I don't think I'll have one, but I think Dave is after the classic turn of soup, which is delicious. We've seen so many other things on this menu, so we I've already booked the olive oil again. And I have to say, if you're coming in here, the lemon drizzle spritz, you can have it alcoholic or non-alcoholic, is absolutely delicious. Do treat yourself to one. It's very tart and lemony. It's really delicious. I'll put a picture up next to this um, video. There are some very nice non-alcoholic ones as well, mocktails. The apple and elderflower, no hito. It was delicious, I had that last night in Sindhu. And that pink popping candy lemonade sounds amazing. <laughs> I'm not really an Oreo person, so maybe not that one. I wanted to take a video of this um, when it arrived, have it all nice and lovely. And look, there's a big bite out of it there. 
<laughs> Returned to our cabin for the afternoon and spent the afternoon on the balcony, watching the sea and reading our books. Nice and relaxing, um, beautiful ocean views and a little bit of blue signs and blue sky and sunshine at times. Can't complain. So we are in the theatre tonight and we are watching festival. I saw it in August and really liked it, especially the tap dancing wellies on the toilet. <laughs> I told David about so I feel he'll find that funny um, and also it's really new music so I mean what's there not to like but yes we're looking forward to watching it so here's the set in the theatre it's quite quiet at the moment this is the 1845 viewing and we booked it on my holiday um, it's quite quiet at the moment we're anti-social and have sat right at the back <laughs> we've got a, a seat next to us that far. A seat next to us. A seat that's resting. I like that because it doesn't seem to happen at all. But it's fine. You know, like the government have changed the rules. You you don't do social distancing and stuff. So not that people aren't social distancing. Like digging a hole. I still feel safe on this ship despite more people on it. Um, and it's always nice to know. You know, everyone's been tested. I know they could be in the incubating incubating bugs but generally these people have all been vaccinated and all been tested so the, the um, risk is very low. But yes, we're going to watch festival and then we're going to the beach house after so that'll be nice. And I'll vlog in the beach house. I'm aware this is quite dark so we're sat on a row quite near the back and about four couples, three, four couples now have come in, have sat by us like with distance and then within about 30 seconds, I got up and walked off. So <laughs> we're thinking we might smell. <laughs> hope not. So two more couples have done it. And we, I mean, we, we don't smell. I'm pretty sure we don't. We've both showered today. There's a pillar there, then, between those, that couple that just sat down. We think that's what's causing people. Oh, there's another couple. So we'll see. We'll see. But we think that's the pillar. It was the pillar. We do not smell. Festival was great. Good fun. Um, definitely aimed at maybe younger people. Um, but I'm pretty sure if you like music and you like a good time, you will enjoy it whatever age you are. Just having a sit down in the edge of the glass house because our we've got a uh, table booked in the beach house at eight o'clock, and it's twenty to eight. Um, it's busy. It theatre's just chucked out. We went to see festival. It was brilliant. Um, different lead lady, I think, on the premiere on the maiden, but really good still. Um, and yeah, it's busy because everyone's still coming out of here. <laughs> Feeding time. Tonight's dinner is at the beach house. So we're in one of our favourites, the beach house, you know? There's a £7.50 cover charge again in here. We always used to have this, and it looks lovely when it comes. But we're not big fans of prawns, so we might go for something different. Although, of course, we know we don't need to eat the prawns, but it's a good excuse to try something different. And I really like this dessert. And I really like this cocktail. <laughs> that looks good. Nacho started to share. Not so good at sharing. I'll try. Sizzling for eaters. Him sizzling still. Like my third or fourth, third time having this, I think I love this dessert. It's delicious. Yum yum yum. Rum glazed like pineapple, mojito, sorbet, and like a, a cake of <laughs> some kind. But it's delicious. Let's try it if you're on Iona in the beach house. So now we've come <laughs> all of about 10 meters from the beach house to the sky dome to watch an Adele tribute that's on this evening. I imagine she's brilliant because like you've got to be brave to cover Adele, surely Adele is fantastic. We heard her a little bit actually whilst we were in the beach house, you could hear her first performance. No, second, yeah first performance. Um, we're doing a 9.31 and she performs again at 11 for the third time. Um, in essence to try and spread out the viewings I think so people spread out. I didn't feel in the beach house much because it's quite busy um, and there's lots of people around but our food was delicious. I shall put up little videos of the 
um, it's the first time I think I've been to a beach house when lava rock steak is on the menu and I haven't had it. Sorry, I'm putting you so close to me because I'm not sure if you can hear me with the music in the background. Um, I'm not familiar with the music, I like music. Um, but yeah, the, we didn't have a steak, we had fajitas and it was really delicious. And the service is wonderful, as usual. Um, and yeah, like I said before, now we're in the Sky Dome and we're just having a drink. I've got a Pepsi Max, shattering my Emma Cruises. <laughs> and I am about to watch an Adele, um, Adele tribute act, isn't it? It's the Nike Charles having an Aspel cider. And then I think we're going to go and watch the Limelights after, because I remember them being really good in August at the end of watching the Limelight Club. And I know that you can go in there at 10, 10, 15-ish every day after the, the like, Limelight production has finished. Uh, so I think I'll take those down and we'll see what they're like. I remember them as being brilliant on August, but um, we'll see what they're like. If we like them, we'll then come back another day. <laughs> Well, as predicted, she was brilliant. I mean, anyone who's going to do a tribute act to Adele is going to be have to be brilliant, aren't they? Because Adele is amazing. Um, so if you see a Christina Rogers as Jadelle doing a tribute to Adele on board on p or any cruise ship for that matter, go watch her. She is absolutely fantastic. Enjoy. I was watching as a safe distance from the pool um, during the tribute act in the Sky Dome. I noticed a lot of people getting quite wet, so I went for a nose at the pool well, after. The Have a look. Wet feet. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually people got soaked. <laughs> it's quite rough tonight, but I mean, I mean not as rough as we've had it before. But oh. Last thing that it's coming all over the <laughs> surroundings. Hopefully not right now because we're standing here. A little wonder to the infinity pool. Well, the infinity pool's over there. The day was cold, so we're going back inside. It's not actually that cold. I mean, it sounds like it's raining heavily, but it's little fountains. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll bring you up here in the daytime so you can see it properly. Um, if you're into grab and grow, they're up here as well. There is the grab and go, and there's where I was standing before. So if you like your grab and grow on board, you know, here it is. I'm landing. What's well, the end of our first full day on Iona this cruise? We have had a lovely day. Um, I've shown you on the vlog. If you have any questions about any of the things we did, do ask. Um, happy to help in any way. Quite a surreal day being recognised by a lady going, I don't know if you mind me asking, but are you Lois? <laughs> yes. Um, lovely having a chat with her. So if any of you ever see me around the ship, please do say hello. I'm a bit shy to begin with, but once you um, chat to me, I won't shut up about cruising and I'm pretty sure you'll be the same if you're watching this channel. Um, thank you for watching and I'm looking forward to vlogging the fir the second full day that we have on Iona. <laughs> you say the first again. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.